Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide and yes I have finally managed to get back onto Forza Horizon 4 long enough to film these videos. Now this week's one is called Tough Cookie and it wants you to own and drive any sports utility hero to complete the following challenges and it's actually quite an easy one. So without further ado let's hop in and pick out a vehicle to use for this week's Forzathon event. Now as you can see, first of all I just filtered my vehicles to show the sports utilities heroes. Now I'm assuming you guys will probably have a fair amount. Uh, I went for the 2019 Lamborghini Urus, but you can use whichever one you want, it's entirely down to yourself. Now I have also got a tune for it, so the share code is 164981172, and this should hopefully help you complete uh, one, of the, one or two of the challenges a bit quicker. Now the first challenge here just wants you to earn 10 bin man skills which is really really easy. So for those of you who don't know what it is, a bin man skill is literally when you just smash into a bin, a destructible object. Very very simple, very very easy. Now in order to obviously complete this you need to find somewhere where there are plenty of bins. So I recommend heading up to Edinburgh and on the high street that Edinburgh Castle was on, there are tons and tons of bins. In fact, all across Edinburgh, there are loads of them. And all you have to do is smash into 10 of them. Now, what you do need to be aware of is that you can't just smash into loads really, really quickly because there seems to be some form of cooldown uh, on the bin skill, just like there was the drift tap skill. So there's probably about a five to 10 second cooldown. Uh, now, obviously I'm just driving down and smashing all of them anyway because you will obviously for every say two that you smash into or three that you smash into in quick succession you're bound to get a bin man skill and like i said there are tons of bins lying around in edinburgh especially down this main hind street and normally when you turn around there's going to be some that you've missed or you can just travel through the rest of edinburgh but it's a really easy challenge to start off with now the next one here wants you to win three cross country circuit events. So you have to make sure that you're doing a circuit as you can see there with a little symbol and not the sort of rush which is a sprint type of race. Now I recommend heading over to the rail yard cross country circuit where I have just created a general blueprint to use. It's just one lap in sports utility heroes. Uh, for some reason the share code wasn't working on this one but you can type in my gamer tag and it will pop up. Or just create your own custom blueprint, uh, change it to one lap and sports utilities heroes for this race and it's very very simple to do. And all you have to do is win the same race three times basically. Now the good thing about this Lamborghini Urus is it's very very quick so you'll be able to get it done in probably about 35 seconds or so, maybe 40 maximum. Uh, obviously it depends really on what you're using but all you have to do is win that race three times and that's challenge complete very very quickly. Now the final challenge here again is a nice easy one and it wants you to earn 10 trading paint skills. Now for those of you who aren't aware, a trading paint skill is when you nudge into another driver tar or AI car uh, very lightly and it will give you the AI skill, uh, the trade and paint skill, sorry. Now to do this I recommend heading into Horizon Solo mode and then going over to the motorway. Now the reason for joining Solo mode is because there are more AI driver tars on the road and also if you head over to the motorway there are a much more dense population of them so as you can see here i'm just nice and easily racking up loads of trade and paint skills you'll be able to get 10 here in probably about a minute or two maximum it's a very very simple thing to do uh, if you smash them too hard obviously your skill chain will go and you won't actually get the trade and paint skill you don't have to be going ridiculously fast either as you can see here now if you are struggling with any of the challenges, please do let me know down below in the comments. Of course, I will always try my best to help you guys out. Uh, or if there's any other issues you're having, just let me know down below. Uh, of course, as you may well know, I have been struggling with Forza Horizon 4, just logging on to the game. It's been a massive, massive ball ache. Um, every now and again, I can get on and play for a while. So, you know, I have to just keep my fingers crossed as soon as I start it up. It's probably the fact that my older Xbox is just slowly going away and it will probably be in a graveyard soon. So if anyone knows anywhere where I can get the new uh, Series X from, I'd love to know because I'm trying and everywhere seems to be out of stock. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so it looks like I might be waiting for a couple more months. But good news, the new Forza Motorsport won't be out until next year. So I've got a bit of time. Uh, if I want to be playing that successfully because I guarantee it will not work on this Xbox 
anyway folks <laughs> i hope this video did help you out uh, if you did enjoy and it did help you don't forget to drop a like and subscribing also helps me out as well but apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best make sure you stay safe and take care